Hey YouTube, it's uh, your boy Retro Wolverines 1 uh, with a uh, From Big House Games channel on YouTube and uh, we're doing this segment on this new book that I just got Phil Steele's College Football Preview 2012 and uh, I'm pretty much ready I mean I picked mine up at uh, my local family fair and on the cover is, um, you can see in the small box, Rex Burkhead. They can't really see, I don't have good light in here. But, uh, uh, Monty Ball. Looks like he's going to be a Heisman winner, I think. Uh, Des Desmond Howard, yeah, he wishes. Uh, Denard Robinson, and Braxton Miller. Okay, well, let's take a look in here. I just got... Just got a bunch of stuff here, and um, the top 100 and stuff like that. Heisman winners, FCS. You can pick up the FCS one on uh, his website. I'll probably buy one of those, maybe. I don't know I'll probably get a, a pro, pro one. I know I got a bunch of uh, top individual players on um, rankings. And the, uh, got some of the, uh, bull projections that he thinks. And, uh, surprise teams. <clears throat> There's the online one. You can also find it online. And some more playoff stuff and some good stuff in here. And you got some good college football Stats, okay. Right here, you just start out, it starts out with the SEC, you got the first team, second team, third team, fourth team. So you want to look up close to this, see Tyler Wilson's first team quarterback. Marcus Lattimore, which is almost, he's the best um, running back in the NCAA so far. And, uh, and they got the forecast for each division of the SEC, and they got the last year's standings. They got a bunch of stats, good stats too. And last three years SEC standings, last five years, last ten years. LSU looks like they're the best out of the last ten years in the standings. So uh, let's get jump right into this. Uh, first off, we got LSU Tigers right here. Uh, they run around the quarterbacks, the offense, the defense. He gives that. Uh, the projected starting lineups, Phil's forecast. And over here is my favorite page of the uh, of these books. Is they give you uh, places to write in the scores, which is nice. If they won or won or lost. And over here they show Les Miles' record, last year's record. They show uh, Tyron Matthew. And over here they showed uh, running back Spencer Ware, if you guys didn't see that. They got all different logos in the middle. Shows you, uh, tells you stats about the last meeting and a few meetings before them. And you got standing on stats and everything. I mean, you got everything here. I mean, uh, then you go through the whole uh, SEC. You got Alabama, Arkansas. Mississippi State, Auburn, Texas A&M, what? You're thinking Texas A&M, what? SEC, yeah, they did change, did change conferences. Um, then you got Ole Miss, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, Missouri, what? Yeah, they changed too. Vanderbilt, Kentucky. Then you move on to the Big Ten Conference. You got everything you had before. The forecast. Uh, first team. Second team. Third team. But if you do look up here. I'm a Michigan fan. And I am surprised by this. First team quarterback. Denard Robinson. And I understand. There's rookies for quarterbacks in the Big Ten. But really. Denard Robinson. 
I like Michigan and all, but Denard as a first team quarterback. In the Sugar Bowl, throwing off his back foot for a lucky catch by practically, you can call him Desmond Howard. Mr. Junior Hemingway is one of the best. And the, uh, I just don't think he should be first team. But there's Nebraska's. I'll take, I'll, let's just take a quick look at this one. This is, I was actually at this game. This is one of my favorite plays. Uh, I'm a Western Michigan fan too, so this was kind of hurting for me. But I did like, I like Michigan more than Western, so. Uh, strong safety Jordan Kovacs taking down uh, Alex Carter for the sack. And it just runs over, just runs right through uh, everything else they had. And uh, <clears throat> I really do not think Michigan has any freshmen starting. They do. They have a, uh, hmm, they have a, uh, left guard starting, but, uh, I really do not like the logo that they chose here. I don't know, I guess it's just not my type. If you guys have any, uh, teams you want to see, I mean, I can run through it like a five minute video or something like that. I'm just briefly showing you guys these and, uh. As we go, it's got that. See, they got some nice logos in here. And then Big 12. I think I'll just run through Big 12 real quick since this is a small conference. Texas, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, what? Yeah, they did go from the Big East. And then TCU, what? Yeah, I was surprised by this too. They came to the... They came to the Big 12 too. I'm surprised by all these. That's Texas Tech. And it's, it's a cool logo. I like it. Um, Baylor. Iowa State. Kansas. And then you go to the ACC. I don't really want to show you the ACC right now. So what I'm going to jump right into right now. Um, I don't think. Oh yeah. If you guys didn't know this. I'm looking at the Midwest right now. But Mountain West. Uh, the Falcons. Air Force Falcons did get there. Um, Conference USA. I don't really want to look at that. What I'm trying to get to is the new teams in college football. Here's the Mac. Start with Western, NIU, Toledo. Yeah, okay. And then. What I'm trying to get to here is, I think it's the coolest thing that they brought new teams in. I mean, because even with the new release of NCAA Football 13, tons of people are going to want to play dynasties with these new teams. Like UMass. I already know one guy that has a dynasty with UMass. That's Sports Gaming Universe. He don't know me, but I'm a huge fan. I hope he watches these videos. And I'd like to meet him someday, but we're in totally different states. So, probably not. But then you got UMass here. Um, Michigan plays them a ton. Now that they'll probably, probably play them even more. And you get into the WAC. I don't really don't think there's any new teams in the WAC, but I could be wrong. I'm probably yeah, I'm wrong. Um, Texas State. You get into Texas State here. This is the team I will most likely be using in the uh, um, NCAA football. But there is also UTSA. They've never made a bowl too, and they're four and six last year, so that's a little different. Now, the Sun Belt, you guys don't really care for Sun Belt, I'm sure. Sorry if people like the Sun Belt and you're watching this. But there is FIU, Troy, Louisiana, Raging Cajuns, Western Kentucky, Arkansas State, Louisiana Monroe, Middle Tennessee, The Mean Green, FAU. But this one was the one that surprised me. South Alabama Jaguars. 
Now, if this team is in NCAA Football 13, I don't know if it is or not, this will be the team I use. I mean, I love the logo. They're sounding like a real good team. I, I, I like it. I like everything about this team. Good stats. I mean, not too great, but not way too bad. And they've never made a bowl. So I'm looking forward to really getting interested in this book. And uh, you guys can like, subscribe, comment. Um, comment on what teams you want to see in this book. I mean, I only roughly went over this. I mean, just showed you a t tidbit of this. And if you guys do want to buy this, it does come in the Armed Forces, the East Coast, Florida's, the Midwest, the National one, which sounds, which looks really cool. Um, then you got Northwest, Texas, Texas is actually, um, the SEC, the Pac-12, and of course you got the cover that I got, which, uh, I would think, um, if you live in Minnesota, my area, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, somewhere around here, right here in the Midwest, I would think you'd be able to, uh, get it, but you never know, because they call Oklahoma the Midwest. I really don't think they are. We're the Midwest. Um, that's about it. Um, like I said, comment. I do have a Facebook page, Big House Games. Um, I have an Operation Sports page, uh, the Hamilton Horror. You guys can look at that. Uh, got blogs. I really want people to make me some, uh, oh, the show covers. 12 of the show. I, I don't have the game yet, but I'll be getting it. And I really want to get some cool custom covers. Because I don't have a Photoshop thing, so I can do it. But, that'll wrap it up for about this uh, segment. Uh, talk to you guys later. Have a nice day. See ya. Out.